garden tour late June. Bergmansia. Got tipped over. Still looking good. It's a bit root bound. I need a bigger pot, but I also want to keep it small. Yellow four o'clocks. Azalea. Gladiolus in the shade. That was probably a bad place to put them. We'll find out. Some hollyhocks. Isn't that pretty? It's parsnips gone to seed. Cable company is going to be doing some digging. Yes, I'm terrified. Keeping an eye when they get here. Echinacea, gone to seed. I think it was in a mix. Planted once and now it's here forever. It's the pepper patch. Beautiful fish pepper. The sugar brush stripey. Hopefully, this year they're actually stripey. This is the beleaguered apple tree where the damage went four feet up. And look at this. Got most of it covered, but missed a couple. Isn't that beautiful? Just in awe. Nature finds a way. Let's take a dip under the tree. That is tequila sunrise. It's gonna turn orange. Seasoning peppers. Carrot gone to seed. It's the rest of the pepper patch. Sweet peppers. It's a dolce. This is a Melrose with just a bit starting to turn. I gave them some fertilizer so they'd leaf out more and yeah, it, they really did. This one got a little bit too much nitrogen. See, it's darker green and leathery. You'll see that one, too much nitrogen. But a lot of these other ones look fine. So sometimes just some varieties are more susceptible than others. This back row is French Gold and Kentucky Wonder pole beans. Some potatoes that reseeded and in there is some shallot a little bit too much in one place I do French intensive gardening a lot of intercropping planting things close together high intensity but that was probably a little too close these small melons all with different, different honeydew and cantaloupe Let's see if we have any babies in here Oh boy, that's pretty. Peekaboo. There's a bee on the carrot blossom. Look at my grapes. I love my grapevines. This is a mulberry tree. Birds leave them. They're considered invasive in most places in the U.S. That's what a baby mulberry looks like. I'll come back later and pull this out. They take root quickly. Oh. Some more bees on carrot. Ants too. As long as ants aren't farming aphids, they don't bother me. tomato of the season, sun gold. Oh, so cute, learning how to ride bike. It's a watermelon patch. A little sparser than I prefer it, but this garden bed right here needs more nutrition than it had, so that's probably why I'm seeing slower growth.
reseated, self reseated um, ground cherries. Potatoes in the hugel. Starting to bud. Cable company, terrifying me. Cable company. So red heritage raspberries. Get a little bit for an early harvest. Fall gold. Had to relocate because I'm pretty sure Cable Company's gonna dig where they were. Most of them survived even though they look kind of rough. Queen of Melon Alco Tomatillos. Near cherry. Definitely suffering, but alive. Bing cherry. It's gonna be more of a weird looking bush tree. See, it was protected and wrapped, and where you see the tree wound is where the wrap stopped. And the bunnies ate all the way up, almost four feet. All my trees be wrapped like mummies this fall. Guarantee you that. It's one of my mega blossoms, Sart Rolle. It's a little truss there. Another mega blossom. Just not doing well, but that's why we bought that one. Tomato row, there's 73 tomatoes in here. Getting some blush on the edgy reds. A little Genovese. Giant Belgium. German Giant. Really putting out. Okay, extra green and leathery. Probably too much nitrogen. I'm very confident it's not herbicide damage, so I'm not going to put too much nitrogen here. There's the front of the Sart Rolet. Just got a mega blossom on the triple crop. This is a row of sunflowers and corn. I planted to protect the tomatoes because we have a wind tunnel with some storms and the wind just comes right on down. So it worked. We had a wind storm a few days ago and as you can see, everything looks amazing. I lost one branch off an Italian ice tomato. Otherwise good. This is my squash vine borer farm. Just a review on the leaves. Veining, deep veining is Cucurbita moshata. Heart shaped pale is Cucurbita maxima, a favorite of the squash vine borer. And another one is Pepo, see Pepo, summer squash, and also like acorn squash. Um, Delicata is also a Pepo. In fact, we have a little small delicata squash, pepper leaves, zephyr squash, also a pepper, Got some hollyhocks, sweet bay magnolia tree, 
still waiting on buds, it's well within time to acclimate, so we're not worried. Sully Project, tomato breeding. It's nice. Fruit set on them, more hollyhocks. Baby cucumber. Non-existent onion patch. They're invisible onions, it's a new kind. Beautiful squash. If you watch my squash five more videos, you'll see that I'm rooting along the stem. Oh wow, look at that big bee. It's a big one. Isn't that a gorgeous blossom? Privacy sunflowers. More tomatoes for the breeding project. Dwarf tomatoes, including this gorgeous variegated Sweet Splash Electra. My favorite tomato ever, small one. Pink Tiger. Fat Frog is showing out. Some rosellas in there. Purple robe locust tree. Again, you can see it was protected, and then the bunnies got to it, and I had to cut it. But it's still growing like crazy. It also is very uh, fertile and prolific. It will root additional trees. So you have to be watchful for that if you get a purple robe locust tree. Beautiful hollyhocks here. That is a small hazelnut tree. We have some beans. It's called bonzo bean plants. This is another hazelnut. Just purchased, so we've got some time to wait for blooms. Or, excuse me, branches. Gorgeous dahlia. Milkweed. Vertical garden. This is supposed to be a whip. It was sent to me last week. Way too big. I'm trying to save it, but it'll be an issue. So thankfully Lowe's has a one year in return policy. That beautiful delicate pink forage. Isn't that beautiful? Rose bushes taking a break, blueberry bushes. traffic day. It's eggplant coming along. Eggplant parmesan later this 
sweet kids. On the menu. I only make it when my eggplant's in season because I'm so picky about the eggplant. Oh, pollinators are going nuts. Wow, so many bees. I've never had cabbage look this good. That's the bean circle. I sit in the center of it and harvest. Just makes it easier so I don't have to scoot across a row. Garden is lined with peas. The garden peas, English peas. Snap peas. At that end is snow peas. Lettuce is being allowed to go to seed. Reseeded carrot for the pollinators. You got kale, cabbage, cauliflower, some brussies. It won't really give us much till fall. Forage. I just, I just can't get over this cabbage. Thank you for joining me today.